guys, it's Nikki, and today I am bringing you my June wrap-up. When I read, I can't be doing something else. I need to just be focused on reading. I know some of you are like that too, but then some people can read at the same time, do other things, and also read multiple books at the same time. Not me. When I read a book, I focus on just that book, so it's kind of hard to find time to do that, to just focus on one book. In July, I'm gonna try better to read more books. Okay, so let's start. So the first book I read for June was Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth. It's a historical novel. It's also a retelling of Rapunzel because in this book, it's um, they kind of made Rapunzel like a real person. It's set in 16th century Italy. I really like the historical aspect of it, and I really really love Italian Renaissance like period As aesthetically. Obviously, I mean the culture back then was like savage and really really bad. I really like the scenery. The clothes are obviously really nice. So it's nice to read about that. But obviously, it's really sad to read about like what the women had to go through during this period. Basically, this book we follow three different point of views. We follow Margarita. She is the Rapunzel in the story. We also follow Charlotte Rose de la Force, who is known as the person who wrote Rapunzel, the one we know of today. And then we also follow Selena Leonelli. She is the courtesan during the Renaissance period. She is also the witch in the story. We follow their three stories. And the good thing about this book is that besides following three different storylines, we have to follow each and every one's like backstory and their present story and how they got to where they are now and how the, all three connected. Something like that. It can end up messy, but this one didn't. Kate Forsyth really did a good job merging the stories together and making them all connect to like this whole book. And I gave this five stars. It's really good. You should read it if you're into the Rapunzel story at all or even Italian Renaissance or historical fiction. The next book I read is Grendel by John Gardner. This was actually kind of hard to read, as thin of a book as it is. It's the point of view of Grendel, who is the villain in the story. So we see the events of Beowulf happen through Grendel's eyes and I think the author did an amazing job. The way he wrote it, I can see why it's still kind of known until today because it has it has modern elements to it, like it's not written in an epic poem type of story. Very modern and it also has very modern, it has very modern commentary from the dragon which was really surreal to hear the dragon because apparently the dragon in the story can see both past, present, and future and humans and creatures can only see pa um, past and present so I don't know it just blew my mind how much the dragon was thinking about the future, the future that is today. Anyway that's delving too much in the story. I really like this one. It was very slow in the beginning. That was my only negative comment on this one. So I gave it a 4.5 stars, but the overall effect was awesome. The next book that I read, it was super easy to read. I'm gonna mention both of them now. I read each book pretty much like in a day. It is the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han. I'm not much for a contemporary fan, but when someone recommends stuff to me, I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. I read this really quickly. I got absorbed in the story super quick, which I enjoyed. That's why I give this five stars. And I I give this five stars as well. I love the story of Lara Jean. It's super super cute. I thought it was handled well. Characters were believable and I loved them. Really like this series. Apparently there's gonna be a third book coming out next year so obviously I'll be reading that because I am hooked in their story. Five stars to both of these. Alright so that is all the books I read in June. If you've read any of these books let me know in the comments if you like them or if not which book do you want to read or you're interested about. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!